Hi there, it's Jason from Codemanship with another Rookie Mistake video. I started programming in the home computing boom of the early 1980s. You could get source code listings from magazines and books, and I spent many hours copying code for games and other fun things. So I'm not going to rail against copying code. It's a perfectly legitimate way to learn, just as long as we are learning from it. And that's what this video is really about. Copying's fine, it's pasting I have the problem with. When I copied code from books and magazines, I had to read the code and then type it into the computer. So to get it into my Commodore 64, it had to go through my brain. And the listings you'd find in printed publications were often not actual working code. They'd been typed on a typewriter or some early word processor. So my copy was a manual copy of a manual copy. And unsurprisingly, they routinely didn't work. I'd have to debug them, which meant I had to try to wrap my head around the code. The upshot of that was that the parts of my brain that handle language and reasoning about code were engaged. So through this process, I naturally learned. It just sort of happened. Today, we can find code on the web to solve pretty much any problem, and just copy and paste it into our project. We don't have to read it. It doesn't need to go through our brain. Our language and reasoning don't need to be engaged. And this, I suspect, is why developers who copy and paste a lot tend to progress much slower. They never seem to reach a level of fluency in programming that us home computing boomers did fairly quickly. For this reason, I recommend to developers, especially junior developers, that they don't copy and paste code. By all means, read and then type the code yourself, but try to understand it. Otherwise, not only are you filling up your project with code you don't understand, and that's going to come back to bite you when it has, it has to change or it goes wrong, but you're not really learning very much. The other problem I have with copying and pasting code off the internet is that it's a bit like eating food you found on the street. It's risky. Code samples on sites like Stack Overflow have not necessarily been tested in any meaningful way. Bugs and security vulnerabilities can be lurking. Add to that the fact that some people who post code online have, um, how can I put this, interestingly different ideas about what good code looks like and the need to digest the code we find and then make it our own becomes very important. So in my 50s, I still very rarely copy and paste code off the web. And I know it feels easier and quicker to do that. But I've learned the hard way that it can come at a high price in the long term.